Did you know videos made with AI tools like ChatGBT, Kling, and Veed can all cut your content creation time by up to 80%. You don't need a script writer, a camera crew, or even editing skills. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go from blank page to finished video using AI. Step one, generate a video idea. So we're gonna start by telling ChatGBT what kind of video it is that you want to make. So for example, give me five YouTube video ideas about productivity for remote workers. ChatGBT will then suggest titles Titles, angles, and even tell you what's trending. Step two, write the script. So next, let's get ChatGPT to write our actual script for us. So just say, write me a 20 second video script based on this outline. You can even specify your tone, whether you want it to be casual, educational, funny, serious, etc., and it will adjust it to match your brand. So I've got my full script padded out here, but since ChatGPT isn't actually capable of generating full videos at the moment, we've got to do a workaround, which leads me to step three, creating images using ChatGPT. So to let that script come to life, I do want to set a scene. I don't need a camera for it because with ChatGPT's image generation tool, you can create a scene from scratch. And then we're going to put these images through Kling to animate them. So I'm going to use the shot list here that the AI suggested and just give it a little more detail for how I want it to look. So I'll input, can you generate an image of a 30 year old male at his desk typing on his laptop? And then in seconds, I'll get an AI image of that back. And I'm just going to keep repeating this until ChatGPT has generated each shot into an image and specify that we want to use the same model every time for continuity. Now step four, we're going to animate these images in Kling. All right, now it's time to head over to Kling to get the AI to transform those images into videos in minutes. In Kling here, I'm going to head down that left toolbar and I'm going to select video. Now here's where I'm going to upload that image that ChatGBT created for me and then I need to fill in a video prompt. Just so you know, Kling is highly sensitive to prompts, so just try to be as clear as possible on what you'd like from your video to get the best possible outcome. Now for the first image, I'll type in, can you make the man type on his laptop and look busy? Now I'm gonna hit generate and then in a few minutes here, we'll get our video back. So let's play it and have a look. Okay, great, let's hit the download button, save it to our laptop, and that's going to be the intro to our video. Now, let's turn our next image into a video here, and we're just gonna keep repeating this step for every single image. And then once we have all of them here converted into animated videos, we can move on to editing the video to tie it all together. Step five, editing our video in Veed. Firstly, let's start with importing our videos. So you're gonna click upload files and select your Kling videos. If you do need to resize your videos, you can just hit the settings icon in the left toolbar. Now from that drop down menu here, select what platform your video is for, and you can even turn on the overlay of that platform. You can turn it on and off just to make sure nothing gets hidden behind the UI. Now let's add a voiceover. So you remember the script that ChatGBT generated earlier? We're gonna copy that script, head back into Veed, click audio in the toolbar, and then select text to speech. Or if you like, you could record your own voiceover or even clone your voice. But for this, I'm gonna use text-to-speech. I'm gonna paste that script into the text box, remove the prompts, and then tweak the wording to how I want it to sound. Now, once that's done, I'm gonna pick my language and a voice, hit play to preview, and then click generate. All right, now we've got our voice over. We're gonna cut the video here to match. So we're gonna move the playhead over to wherever you want to make the first cut, click split, and then select the part you wanna remove and press delete. You can rearrange or make additional cuts here if you need to. Now let's add copyright free music. So we're gonna click audio again, then search next to stock music. I'm gonna search for something lo-fi just to match my video. So you can preview the tracks here with the play button and then click the plus sign to add your favorite. If it is too long, just zoom out on that timeline here. You can trim or shift the music so that everything ends in sync. To balance the audio here, we're gonna lower the music in the audio panel just so that the voiceover stands out. Now with the clips, voiceover and music in place, I now need to add a text title to grab attention. So we're gonna click the text icon, select title, type in the text. You can style your text with your chosen font, size, position and animation. And again, repeat this anywhere else you'd like to on the video. Now the final touch is gonna to be subtitles so that we can widen our audience pool. It's so easy to do. Just click subtitles in the toolbar, choose your language, and hit auto subtitle. Then you can choose a pre-made style and tweak it to fit your branding. And if any words are incorrect, go back, fix them. You can click edit, delete anything that's wrong and then replace it with the correct word. Okay, so now we're done. It is time to export and watch the final video here together. Working from home sounds like a dream until your kitchen becomes your office, your hours blur and burnout creeps in. Here's how to fix it. 
set clear work hours, take real breaks, make your workspace feel separate physically and mentally, and don't skip social time. Slack chats don't count, protect your energy, home should feel like home again. Pretty good if you ask me, considering I haven't had to hire an actor, film crew, camera crew, editing crew. I've done it all in under one hour from my living room. So what are you gonna create with AI?